Paige Harab, uh, you know, she's she's also a veteran on the women's side, so I would think probably... I have recruited legends of surfing top Kiwi surfer Paige Harab. Paige, good morning to you. Good morning. Now we're back on podium A. We get to talk to powerhouses like Paige Harab. Paige, you got a nine-point ride in that heat, a couple of huge backside hacks. Something like your home break in Taranaki? <laughs> Yeah, I used to be a female surfer and still quite a, a man's surfing world. It was probably worse when I was younger, probably 10 or 12 years ago when I first got on the World Surf Tour. You got the, the usual comments when you turn up to a contest and the waves were small and onshore and the guys would always joke like, oh the girls are out today. And yeah, it wasn't a joke I guess, we, <laughs> that's just the way it was. <laughs> Cherub, uh, 30 years old now, and a professional surfer from Taranaki. Living and growing up in Taranaki my whole life, um, it's always, always has been home and always will be, I think. It's kind of unique here, and I think every local here is quite quite proud of it, whether it's like the surf or the mountain and um, yeah, it's just a pretty different province compared to anywhere else in New Zealand, I think. I think I was about six years old when, as far as I can remember, like when I first really got into surfing and I remember going to primary school every day and just going straight to the beach after with, with my best friend and our mums um, every day after school and whether we were surfing or bodyboarding or even just building sandcastles that was pretty much our life for, from six years old until forever really. <laughs> Don't build sandcastles anymore but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the joys of having a shoe sponsor. <laughs> now I'm with DHD and these ones are all just, yeah, like memories I guess. This one, oh, was it, I got a 10 point ride on at Raglan. <laughs> you guys ready to go surfing? Ready to go surfing? Jess, do you want to go in the car? Yeah, I think it's pretty exciting for the future of female surfing. It's come a long way already, but I think it's still got a lot of potential. We've got the equal prize money now, and then being in the Olympics for the first time this year, I think that's just going to make the sport grow even more and um, become more professional, and yeah, that just means bigger and better.